Hello everybody, welcome to our webinar um, for social work and this is really aimed at people who are interested in applying for social work or maybe for careers teachers who are actually supporting students um, in applying for social work. So really what we want to do is dispel the myths about what social work is and some aspects of the application process itself. My name is Audrey Rolston. I'm a senior lecturer in social work at Queen's University and I'm the academic selector for the Bachelor of Social Work degree in Queen's. I'm also the chair of the Regional Admissions Committee as the admissions to social work process is regionally agreed between Ulster and Queen's University. So the aim of the session is to look at the degree options, to look at the selection process, who should apply for the Bachelor of Social Work degree, some top tips to help you prepare for social work interview and some of the unique selling points that are important for you in terms of considering what course to apply for and where to study. Looking at some of the employment um, opportunities that some of our recent graduates have um, found and also just to tell you a bit more about our information event and how to register for that. So firstly, in terms of the Bachelor of Social Work degree options, as I mentioned, it is a regionally agreed um, degree. So as is the admissions process. So you have a few different options. You can apply for the three year uh, program at Ulster University, at Queen's University, Belfast Metropolitan College and Southwest College in Dungannon. And you can apply for the two year relevant graduate route at University of Ulster and at Queen's University. And there's more information available through the links that are embedded within this presentation, which take you to our course finder pages. So why do you want to be a social worker or why should you even consider being a social worker? And really we find from most of the people who do social work that it's because they want to make a positive difference in the lives of children, young people, adults or older people and really because they feel they want to promote social justice, work across care settings in terms of education, criminal justice and the voluntary sector and the statutory sector. You're eligible to apply for an incentive payment from the Department of Health if you are resident in Northern Ireland, which the government will provide four and a half thousand pounds for each year of your study. And they will also provide you with 500 pounds per year towards travel. Starting salary for social workers upon graduation is 22,000 per year, depending on which agency you work for. It could be less or it could be more. And you will be supported in practice throughout your career with continuous professional development opportunities and likewise through your training course as well. So if you want to find out more information about having a career in social work, the Northern Ireland Social Care Council have a lovely web page on their learning zone which provides information about careers and you hear from different students and different social workers and practice teachers talking about their careers as a social worker. So I mentioned the regional selection process. So this means basically that if you apply for four courses across Northern Ireland, so for example, if you are um, applying for the three year program, you can select to apply at or to study at Queen's, at Ulster University, at Belfast Met, and at Southwest College. And you will only have to do one interview to be eligible for all of those. So the video interview is what we've shifted to rather than the face-to-face -face interview. And what you will be asked to do is um, create and upload a video. And it will be a 10 minute video where you will um, be responding to five scene questions. Two of these questions will be on a scene case scenario and three other questions will be around areas that we feel are important for you to consider when considering a career in social work. So you will say, for example, be sent the information on a Monday at 12 noon and you will have until Wednesday 12 noon to upload the link to your video. So it's really important that you um, follow the guidelines and that you answer all of the questions. And once your video is received by us, we will have it assessed by an academic within one of the institutions and a qualified practice teacher working in one of the agencies. So it's jointly marked. So who should apply for social work? So it's those who have the academic ability, first of all. Um, obviously, the entry requirements are clearly outlined on our course finder page. So for example, it's ABB A level or equivalent. So it's important that if you're studying other courses that you carefully 
screen through the other academic requirements and make sure that you meet all of those for the relevant institution. And just also to point out that they do differ across institutions. In terms of relevant subjects, we're often asked at open events um, what subjects we are looking for and none are essential. Really what we're doing is we're looking to see if you have the academic ability and it's entirely up to you what subjects you bring to it. Obviously, if you're studying psychology or sociology or um, health and social care, these are more relevant and will help you in terms of a foundation. In terms of age, it's 18 plus. We have anybody in the course from 18 plus to, I know some of the students in the past have been in their 50s and have felt quite anxious about coming back to university to study, but there's no age limit on that. So previous experience is not a requirement. And I think it's important to highlight that because that puts a lot of people off from applying. So it's not a requirement. However, we do recommend that if you have some experience, whether it's paid or voluntary or mentoring, that that's something you can talk about in response to some of the interview questions. And it's good that you have that baseline to refer to. You should be motivated to help people. And really, when we ask our students um, what motivated them to be a social worker, generally 90% plus would say it is because they want to help people or they want to promote social justice. You should have a good understanding of social care or the social work role. And again, that's important to find that out by spending time with social workers, by seeing what it is they do, understanding how they do their job, why they make specific decisions, and also what are the outcomes for particular individuals that they're working with and looking across different programs of care and different settings as well. And the more you understand that, the better you will be able to answer the questions that you will be posed for interview. It's important that you have a strong value base, that you understand what values are, both personally and professionally, and how your personal values can impact and inform the way that you practice as a social worker but also understanding that we have values that underpin our social work registration with the Northern Ireland Social Care Council. And if you're not familiar with these, I would recommend that you um, visit the Social Care Council's website and explore what they are. And it is important that you value um, diversity and promote anti-oppressive practice. And again, this is a key area that we hope applicants will be familiar with. And again, if it's something you're not overly familiar with, I would encourage you to read about anti-oppressive practice and look at some of the theoretical models that are used, for example, Thompson's PCS model, um, and see how you can promote anti-oppressive practice. So what is diversity? And this is often something that um, students would ask us about. And I came across this um, lovely acronym for diversity. So looking at different individuals valuing each other regardless of skin, intellect, talents or years. So if you're really struggling with what's diversity, try to remember that. And also I mentioned there about the Social Care Council's standards of conduct and practice for social workers. So this highlights what you must be able to do in terms of respect, working in a person-centred way, paying, treating people with respect and compassion and promoting people's independence and autonomy and acting in people's best interests, upholding and promoting equality, diversity and inclusion and ensuring the care you provide is safe and effective and of a high quality. And when you're asked a question about values or diversity, it's not that you can recite this all off, it's that you understand it and you can apply it to a specific situation or scenario and maybe de demonstrate how you have actually worked in a way that promotes diversity or challenges oppression. So top tips for interview. For interview, Listen to the question or read the question and answer it. You know, so we often find that applicants maybe interpret the question incorrectly and they go off on a tangent and actually, whilst they have said a lot, they actually haven't answered the question. So if you've got 48 hours to see the questions and upload your video, please take your time to read the question and think about what is the question asking and how best can I answer it. Read publications, for example, the British Association for Social Work have a lovely website, as do the Social Care Council. Read, you know, what are they talking about in terms of the codes of ethics? What does social workers have to do? Think about published case reviews. So most people have heard of BBP, you know, so read about that or read about some aspects of what's happening more locally in Northern Ireland in terms of um, historical inquiries or 
abuse. You know, there's lots in the media. So it'd be interesting for you to read around that, but also familiarize yourself with some of the different aspects of social work and the buzzwords. So often we talk about social work process or we talk about assessment, care planning, intervention and review. So find out what those things are. Find out what social justice means to you and maybe for the different service users that you might be working with in the future. Try to find examples within the media of how social justice needs to be promoted or how it has been um, minimised. So draw on learning from current academic studies. So, for example, if you're studying RE or health and social care at A level, think about some of the modules, some of the content, some of the ways in which you've been assessed and think about, well, how does that translate into social work? So are you looking at ethical dilemmas? Are you looking at promoting um, empowerment? You know, likewise, if you're doing a psychology degree or sociology, what are those aspects and how do you hope that some of that learning will translate into your social work training? So, for example, we do psychology for social work. We do sociology for social work. We do social policy for social work. So it's taking the basics of the subject and making them relevant to social work. So show us an understanding of the Social Care Council standards that were on the previous slide and the underpinning values, as I mentioned earlier. Think about current issues emerging from social work as a profession. So what do you think is happening in social work? You know, do you hear anything in the media? Do you hear about unmet need? Do you hear about risk? You know, what is it you hear that social workers are having to manage high levels of stress or burnout or, you know, high levels of sick rate? What is it we're working with? Budgetary constraints not enough resources, waiting lists, you know, it's all very similar to what's happening in the health world as well. So try and find out about some of those issues and the implications for the people that we work with and for the, you as a professional entering onto this training course. Consider how to share different life experiences, but please make sure it's anonymous and please make sure that you do so in a way that makes you feel safe and doesn't compromise you. You know, so for example, if you've been a peer mentor or you've worked in homework club at school, or you've been a team leader or a captain. Think about the leadership roles or think about the mentoring roles and what you've learnt from those, what skills you have used and what knowledge you have used and how you have helped to promote change or promote empowerment. And likewise, if you're working in health and social care, think about some of the individuals that you've been working with. And again, think about how you can anonymously say how you made a difference or what you learned from working with that particular individual that improved your own self-awareness and insight. So be familiar with the skills, knowledge and values that underpin social work practice. So again, that can be acquired through reading, through talking to people who are on the course, who have recently finished the course or who have been qualified for years. But again, surround yourself with people who um, are doing the job. So learn how to talk about different types of oppression or social justice and possible solutions. You know, so why do we have racism within our society? Why do we have people from different ethnic minority backgrounds being treated um, in an unfair or unjust way? And think about what are the solutions? How do we turn those around in society and change people's thinking and people's attitude and public perceptions? So what are the sum of the unique selling points for us? So for social work, um, at Queen's, we're ranked seventh in the UK, and that's according to the Complete University Guide for 2020. We have a highly motivated and committed staff team. We're all qualified social workers. We have um, a lot of years of experience behind us. We have um, academic staff of social work and teaching qualifications. We have research active staff team, you know, either we all have or are working towards PhDs. And we are generally internationally recognised in our field. So, for example, I would be recognised for work around palliative and end of life care and bereavement. We're part of the Russell Group University. So, you know, that's important for some people that they only want to go to one of the Russell Group universities um, because of the excellent research informed teaching and the extra kudos that that carries. We have direct service user involvement in our teaching and assessment. And there's a module that you complete in your first semester or first year, which will be co-taught with a practitioner 
and there will be service users involved in that. You will be doing live role plays with the service users and they will be involved in your assessment and feedback, which I know my students in the past have very much valued. And um, they'd really take that to heart. And it does actually change their approach and their attitude. You will have the same personal tutor for the duration of the course. So if you're on the two year route or the three year route, um, we do our best to ensure that you have the same personal tutor so that they know you very well and that you can build up a good uh, working relationship with them. And according to the National Student Survey in 2018, 92% of the social work students were satisfied or more, according to that survey. And we were ranked ninth in the UK for teaching satisfaction in relation to social work. It's a Belfast based university with excellent library facilities and accommodation options. So in terms of employability, um, this is my tutor group or well, some of my tutor group who graduated in July 2019. And when they graduated, actually, by the time they went to the graduation ceremony here in July, they were able to tell me that 10 of them had secured employment in childcare, two in adult services and one in youth justice. And interestingly, some of them moved jobs since then, which shows you that the opportunities are there. So 96% of our graduates are employment or further education within six months of graduating. Given the shortage of social workers out there at the minute, I would say it's probably less than six months. Um, graduate prospects were third in the UK for social work and in terms of career prospects were joint fourth in the UK. So that's not just Northern Ireland, that's the UK. So future events and actions, I would strongly recommend that if you're interested in applying or if you have any pupils or students interested in applying or finding out more about social work before they apply, um, please join our social work information evening, which is being held virtually. And it will be on Wednesday, the 7th of October at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And there will be presentations from staff, service users and students. So please follow the link um, to register for that. As I mentioned earlier, please visit the Social Care Council's Learning Zone. And they have a wealth of information on careers in social work. And they have lots of resources from practice teachers, academics, students, qualified social workers talking about the role and also from service users about the role that um, social workers have had in their lives. There's also the Social Care Council's Teachers Pack. And then there's also a test that you can do to see if you have what it takes to be a social worker, which is just a bit of fun, but it actually maybe will help you in terms of tuning in um, a bit more. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, we'll be glad to answer any of your questions and I wish you well and I look forward to, see to seeing you at our forthcoming info information evening and please follow all of the other links for the other um, information sessions that we're holding.